We are following a big legal showdown in Wisconsin today as well, one that has major election implications nationwide. The state Supreme Court there hearing arguments on whether ballot drop boxes will be allowed in future elections. Now, Wisconsin is a swing state. We know that both Democrats and Republicans see this case impacting November's midterms. NBC News correspondent Shaquille Brewster is joining us now. He's been tracking this story. So, Shaq, uh, what's the latest from inside the courtroom first? Well, the oral arguments, they just wrapped up, Aaron. We saw more than two hours or nearly two hours of oral arguments from folks on both sides of this issue. And this court is looking and questioning whether or not those drop boxes that we saw used in the 2020 uh, presidential election, whether or not those were legal and whether they complied with Wisconsin's law. Wisconsin law says that a voter must uh, return their ballot either by mail or uh, directly to the clerk, and that voter must return his or her own ballot. And the uh, Supreme Court is looking to see whether that law allows for the use of drop boxes, the more than 500 drop boxes that we saw in the last presidential election. So, Shaq, I know you spoke to the leader of the group that's challenging uh, the legality of these drop boxes. What'd you learn? What did he tell you? Yeah, and during our conversation, his big point was that he's not against drop boxes per se. He just doesn't believe that they comply and that they align with Wisconsin election law and that it either requires an act by the legislature or some other means of court to step in and say that they are allowed. Uh, when he was being questioned by some of the justices uh, at, at that Supreme Court hearing, things got a little bit contentious. I want you to see one of those moments when you saw some of the more liberal justices questioning the conservative challenger. The relevant statute here says that this envelope must be placed in the mail by the elector. That's not it what doesn't it says. say that. Uh, I'm sorry, it should be okay. mailed. I, I apologize. It, you know, it shall be is, mailed it's, by it's the elector. It's important, Mr. Essenberg, because mailed is defined as to send by the nation's to send is defined as to cause a letter or package to go or be carried from one person to another. That is a much broader definition than the one you are trying to impose and the one the legislature imposed. So you just get a sense from that clip how much legal language we were hearing during these uh, arguments. I'll tell you, there are also a lot of hypotheticals, long hypotheticals. You know, what if I gave my ballot to a spouse? What if I handed it to the clerk as she was walking down the street? Lots of hypotheticals that you heard from the justices as they really try to get an understanding of what the law actually says and what should be allowed going forward for the midterm elections. And I should just note, Aaron, I mean, we saw these hearings and we saw this oral argument. There's an open question as to whether or not the court will actually rule on the issue of drop boxes. There was a significant amount of time during these oral arguments about whether or not the court uh, has standing, whether the plaintiffs have standing to bring this issue to the court. So there is a small chance that the court may say, we can't rule on this and we're not going to give our opinion on drop boxes. Aaron? Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.